Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Bol Balvid, wonderful Balvid. You want to sing one more time? Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Bol Balvid did a very good job. Now uh, Subhadra and Giridari go ahead. Lakshmi Mataji is already there. Subhadra and Giridari will go and then Mataji will start the class. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Wonderful, Subhadra and Giridari. That was very nice. Now we have our Lakshmi Mataji. She's going to take over from here. Lakshmi Mataji. Hare Krishna kids. Mataji, Tushita raised her hand, Mataji. Can Tushita sing once, Mataji? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mataji. I'll share my screen meanwhile. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Yeah, Tushita, go ahead and sing. It's one of those Bollywood men films where the teacher is going to button half. What is this nonsense? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Thank you, Mataji, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji, we did not do prayers, Mataji, we were just singing Hare Krishna. Wonderful. Thank you, Mataji. All right, Hare Krishna kids. Welcome to today's Damodar class. You've been singing so beautifully. Come on. So impressive, kids. But let's get started with our today's prayers. Um, you all can see my screen, correct? No. Can you? Yes, Mataji. We can see that. We can see that. You can you see want the, slide. the slide show more? You can see the slide, right? Yeah, now I can see the slide show more. Yes, Mataji. Awesome. So kids, uh, Guru Pram Mantra on your screen, and we're going to do that together. Okay, followed by Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 11 times. So let's do it together. Oops. Yeah. Oh, my Thank you. 
Celebrating the Ram's Lord Balram's appearance day this week, right? And all the stories are pretty much focused around that, right? And we've been hearing. I don't know what is that. Give me the whole class. Yeah, little. You've been hearing so many interesting pastimes. Not only <laughs> stories. Um, and then we're going to talk about those, right? Okay, one moment. I'm going to keep everybody on mute so that. Um... All right. All right. So the first story that we picked today is. The kidnapping of Shivadra. All right, kids. Side show, we can see Big Ben. Oh. Um. Okay. Side show, Big Ben. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, kids. So one thing. Let's pay attention to the stories today because we're going to play a trivia after that, which is a crossword puzzle. And then puzzle is going to have words from the stories that we have read today, okay? So let's remember. Even if you do not know the descriptions, if you would listen to the story, you would know that, okay? You would know the answers. Let's pay attention. All right, the first story today, the kidnapping of Shibhadra. So the story starts here. Arjuna was visiting the holy places. He heard that Balram wanted Shibhadra to marry Duryodhan, right? But then again, and even, even um, uh, her father, Vasudev, and brother Krishna did not like the idea. So Arjun actually wanted to marry Shibhadra. And you all would have heard this story many times in the past that even uh, Shubhadra had uh, wanted to marry Arjun and Arjun wanted to marry Shubhadra. So they both actually wanted to marry each other. But because of that, you know, uh, brother interested in Duryodhan and parents interested in Duryodhan, she was kind of uh, under the pressure to marry Duryodhan. So um, what um, Arjun did is he dressed up as a sannyasi because, well, he decided that he wants to marry Shubhadra. So he will marry Shubhadra. So he disguised himself as sannyasi and he came to Dwarka. So nobody was able to recognize him. But once Balram invited this sannyasi, um, gosh, it's raining here, uh, sannyasi um, for a lunch, right? And there were so many tasty dishes around. Arjun was just looking at Shubhadra, right? Because uh, he has his eyes set on Shubhadra because that, that was the only thought that was going on his in his mind. And at the same time, Shubhadra was also attracted um, towards Arjun and uh, she was also smiling at him. So she decided to marry him at once. So when they came out of, uh, of the place of the festival where they had been eating, um, Arjun put her on his chariot and with his bow, he defeated all the soldiers who were guarding her, right? So, um, because uh, he, she was always guarded, she was a princess, right? So princess are always guarded by soldiers just for their safety. So Arjuna had to fight fight with them uh, and then put her on her um, chariot and um, he, he moved from there, took her away. When Shubhadra was kidnapped, her family members cried, Lord, Brahma, uh, Lord Balram was very, very angry about this because he did not like what Arjun has done. Um, Arjun has done uh, because he, he realized that Arjun was also um, disguising himself as a sannyasi. Uh, but he knew at the same time that Krishna was favoring uh, that. And he also knew at the same time that Krishna and, um, and Shubhadra also wanted to marry Arjun. So it's not just, it's not just that Arjun did something wrong. But Shubha, it was in, in Shubhadra's interest as well. So um, it was all that. Then uh, Krishna uh, took Balram's feet in his hands and he asked for the forgiveness uh, for Arjun. Um, and then Balram understood that Shubhadra actually wanted to marry Arjun. Um, and then he was happy about that. So he, he realized that there was no forceful um, intention here, right? Um, because they both wanted to marry each other. 
So after Arjun Sanshubhadra's wedding, Lord, Bar uh, Lord Balram gave her many presents as dowry. So that shows that he was very much pleased with the, this marriage now, and he was uh, he was in it now. Okay, so that was our first short story. The other story that we're going to talk about today is the marriage of Samba. Anybody know who was Samba? Well, there are so many Sambas, right? But you know, in, in, the, in the context of Balram, Krishna, who was Samba? No, never mind. We'll figure it out soon, okay? So, Mataji, I know. Mataji, I know. Yes. Mataji, uh, Shamba married to Lakshmana, the, the son of Duryodhana. <laughs> no, you're right. So Lakshmana, Lakshmana was the daughter of Duryodhana, and Samba was Krishna's son. Well, you're pretty, pretty close. All right. Thank you. All right. So you were right about that. Duryodhana had a daughter named Lakshmana, right? And um, he wanted her to marry now, right? Because she's grown up now. So the dad, who is Duryodhana, thought that Lakshmana should marry somebody. She has all of those nice qualities. So every, um, and we all know that all the princesses and princes back then were trained to become something, right? So like prince would be trained to become a nice king uh, or the ruler of the country later on, right? So they are trained like that. Similarly, princesses are trained very well that they can, uh, for their safety, right? So basically, um, um, uh, they would also learn how to fight, uh, but at the same time, they will also learn how to take care of the family, home, and everything that's what used to happen so she did have a lot of nice qualities she was a nice person as well but because she was a princess uh she could choose her husband as well right so everybody knows that swamwar is a ceremony right where uh, she could actually choose so swamwar is a ceremony where a lot of princesses from across the globe come there and then she can actually um choose one person as a husband. So any person she puts her garland on would be her husband, right? So she gets to choose. I like that, right? <laughs> interesting, um, interesting fact. Um, so Swamwar was going on for Lakshmana where a lot of people came and there, Samba also came. Samba was Krishna's uh, son. He was there at the ceremony, but uh, Lakshmana did not want to marry him. Samba being Krishna's son, he possesses a lot of qualities. He was strong, he was nice. He was a warrior, so he had, he had a lot of good qualities. But for some reason, I think uh, because Duryodhan never um, liked, uh, you know, um, Pandavas and Krishna, so there could be a possible reason that uh, Lakshmana also didn't want to marry um, uh, Krishna's uh, son. So he decided, Karvas decided, Kurus decided that uh, we should arrest him. Um, so that, uh, you know, he does not bother anybody uh, there because they pretty much knew his intentions. If he's there in the ceremony, that pretty much um, uh, is a simple thing that uh, he wants to marry, um, marry Lakshmana. So they thought that we can arrest him um, and then uh, that'll be good for us. So what they did is uh, they knew that um, uh, Samba is a, is a warrior. He's very strong. So they uh, actually invited six big warriors from Kuru dynasty. They were, um, they were Karna, Karn, Chala, Bhurishwa, Bhurishwara, um, Yajya Ketu, and Duryodhana. So these six people who are very, very strong, they were there at the ceremony. And what they wanted to do is, uh, Karna actually challenged Samba. And uh, so that um, Karna knew, everybody knows who Karna was, right? Karn um, was one of the strongest person in um, Duryodhan's army, a very close friend of him, and who was actually born with that uh, armor. So if anybody knows uh, uh, Kavach and Kundal, he was born with those things, which kind of unpierceable, right? Uh, those were um, those were given to him by birth. And that cannot be pierced. So basically he could live forever because he cannot die. Nobody can kill him like that. So um, he was very, very strong again. He was very, very strong. So he uh, approached Samba. He challenged him to fight. And uh, Samba was alone in front of all those six people. He was fighting. He was able to, uh, you know, kind of uh, crash their chariots. Uh, but eventually, because there were so many of them, um, they killed his horse. Uh, they uh, crashed his chariot. And they um, cut his bow and arrow into pieces. And finally, 
he had no more armor to fight. Um, he wasn't expecting any kind of fight anyways. Um, so he did not have too many um, armory with him. So finally they, they could arrest him. When Samba's family members, Yadus, right? So they are from Yadu dynasty, if you know Krishna and um, everybody in that line are from Yadu dynasty. So when they heard about uh, about this story from Narada, they wanted to fight the Kuru. So, you know, that's what Narada used to do. Narada used to come, he's kind of a communication channel, right? Or a communicator who just uh, get the no uh, news from one place to another and then, then uh, you know, take it to the other place. So he that's the kind of communication uh, he does. So he when he told the story, they were um, they were very angry about this. Uh, but Lord Balram was the only one who wanted peace. So he said, before fighting it out, let me just go to um, Hastinapur, uh, where Kurus live, and then um, I will ask them to release Samba and Lakshmana both um, so that they can live peacefully. So Lord Balram went there with all the Brahmins and other family members. He went to, uh, um, to the door of Hastinapur, uh, which is the main uh, town of Kurus. But he did not go inside. He's, he stayed in a camp outside. Um, he did not want others to think that he's an intruder or anything of that sort. But he just he went with a peace um, offering, right? So he just stayed out. He gave enough time to other guys, uh, not other guys. He gave time to um, Duryodhan's family or Kurus to come and talk to him uh, about uh, about his visit. So. Um, Uddhava went into the city, uh, went into the city. He met with Kurus and asked them to come and talk to Balram about Samba and Lakshman. The Kurus were very happy that Balram was uh, was there, especially um, Bhishma and Duryodhan like uh, liked Balram a lot. So in a way, they were very very happy that uh, just because they did this, um, Balram is there to meet them in person. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Kurus went to uh, then Kurus went to Balram's camp. They paid him their obeisances and gave him a lot of gifts. Lord Balram said that uh, you, the way you fought with Sama wasn't right because six of you fought with just one person, and that is not appropriate. So you please release him and his wife Lakshmana, and I'm gonna take them with me. Uh, but when uh, Kauravs Kaur heard this. Um, they didn't like it. They thought that Balram is actually giving them orders. And uh, they were like, mm, these Yudus are giving us order. We know what to do. So they didn't like it. And they said that Balram, um, Yudus wanted to fight with you, but I wanted peace. So Balram explained them very well that everybody from the Yudu, Yudu dynasty wanted to fight with you just because you, ha uh, you are, um, you have, you um, have, Samba with you. You have Samba with you, but I am the one who wanted to make a peace offering. That is why I'm here. So, you know, let's just talk it out uh, peacefully. Otherwise, there's going to be a fight because uh, they will not leave their son here. And then um, he's saying that if you do not listen to that, then I will have to punish um, Hastanapur. So he, what he did is when Korvas did not listen listen to him, he pulled out his um, his weapon. You know anybody? Anybody knows who, what is Lord Balram's weapon? Plow and club. Plow and club. That is right. I knew it. All right. So he took out his plow and began striking the earth with it. What happened? You know, Lord Balram. We're talking about Lord Balram. What would happen if he does that? What happened? It actually created a split in the earth. So basically almost like um, earthquake in Hastinapur. When Kuru members saw that, they immediately brought Lakshmana along with Samba and they released that. And at the same time, they apologized for the act uh, to Lord Balram and asked for the forgiveness. Well, so now, they're, now here we are saying that, okay, even though all this drama has happened, but all this was done, why was this done? Because um, even though Samba was a warrior, right? And Kauravs have already seen how powerful and how uh, what kind of warrior Samba is. They were already impressed with him. But just by captivating him, they realized that this way they can also get to see 
Lord Balram, right? So there was the intention behind uh, doing the act that they did, but eventually um, they all were uh, were always in favor of Lord Balram because Lord Balram, the only thing Lord Balram wanted is just the peace with everybody. So this is how the marriage of Samba happened. Okay, so the next story for today is the killing of, oh gosh. Can anybody spell this name? Romarnia. Okay. The killing of Romarnia. I think that's what it is. Romaharshana right. Mataji. Mataji, what's that? Romaharshana. Romaharshana. All right. Romaharshana. Yeah. When I copied it, it's all messed up the words. Okay. Romaharshana. The killing of Romaharshana. Ruthad Goswami. Oh, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. Thank you, Mataji. <clears throat> so, Lord Balram heard that Gurus and Pandavas, do you see how Pandavas is spelled there? It's all messed up. The Lord Balram heard that Gurus and Pandavas were going to fight in a war. And yeah, I think two of my stories are messed up here. Just give me a minute, kids. Right, fine. This is perfect. <clears throat> All right, so when uh, so I think this is the time when actually the um, the war happened, right, between Kaurvas and Pandavas. At that time, when Lord Balram realized that there was no way they're going to call out the war, right, or call it a quit, they would definitely go for the war. Nobody's listening to them. So what he decided, he decided to go to uh, um, to Nemesharanya Forest. Everybody may probably know by now, Nemesharanya Forest is very, very popular. It's a holy place where great sages they do different kind of sacrificial ceremonies there and all all great cities across the world would gather there that that's that's the place they would always gather so that is why the Sharani forest is very very popular for that reason when lord balram uh, reached there he saw many brahmin brahminas and ascetics and learned scholars there and that is where he um met um this uh, brahmin as well he was sitting on the vyasana Vyasana and um, leading the group of sages. When Balram arrived, they all stood up, but except for this Rishi, he did not stand in front of him. Uh, Lord Balram is thinking in his mind that maybe he's not standing or he's not bowing in front of me because I'm a Kshatriya. But then he started thinking that even though uh, the Rishi uh, is a Brahmin, but one of his parents was a Kshatriya, right? Those kind of thoughts were coming to his mind. and. Uh, with that kind of thought in mind, um, he realized that, you know, the Rishi is actually not paying his obeisances to him. Um, <clears throat> with that kind of thought in mind, he was very angry. And what he did is he killed the Rishi with the blade of grass. This sounds very surprising, right? How can a blade of grass kill anybody? But that's what it says. It was Lord Balram. Lord Balram can do anything. Lord can do anything, right? So... <clears throat> So he was killed, but the sages other there started protesting against it. They said that we we considered him as the head of our, head of of all the sages. We gave him the benediction to live till the end of the sacrifice. And then, what Lord, what you have done is because of that, you know, everything has gone wrong. So uh, this is not what we wanted. And. Lord Balram realized his mistake because out of anger, what he had done, he did realize his mistake. And he said, oh, I can give him life again. I can give him life again. Um, but the, all the sages said that, dear Lord, because you desired to kill him, it must be so, right? Just because you had this desire that you wanted to kill him, now you should not undo that. Whatever you have done is fine. It, it's, it's already done and you should not just reward, the, reward that anymore. Uh, then Lord Balram said that, okay, we can solve this problem by giving the same benediction to uh, the Rishi's son. And, um, and that's what he did. So he gave the benediction to his um, son so that he can, they can continue with the sacrifices that they were performing there. But uh, when all that was going on, some of the Rishis told Lord Balram that there is a demon called Balvala here. 
and then he disturbs our sacrifices. So whenever we're doing anything, he would just do terrible things. He will throw nasty things on our fire to impure, to impure the, our, um, our fire. So would you help us? Can you kill, kill him so that, um, you know, that would help us? So they said, even though you're doing the benediction to Rishi's son, the couple of more things you should do is, one is that you should kill that demon because he's always interfering uh, with our um, sacrifices. And uh, the second thing is um, you should tour all the holy places for 12 months. And this is how you can, you know, uh, nullify um, nullify the, the act you have done just now. So this was the story of um, the Rishi. Now we move on. I know in the previous story, we briefly mentioned about the, um, the demon Balvala. So here we're gonna talk about that story in a real brief. So sages of Lord, uh, Lord Balram to kill uh, Balvala demon. The demon came two times every month. And when he comes, he will start throwing the nasty uh, things, um, all nasty stuff in the fire and that would, um, you know, that will just spoil the ceremony that, that's going on. Lord Balram got ready to meet the demon now. So Balvala came to attack the sacred place first. A huge hailstorm appeared, right? A dust covered the sky. There was filthy smell in the air and Balvala then showed a uh, rain of um, um, other nasty stuff. And then he himself appeared, right? With a, bit, with a big trident in his hand. He just wants, he just wants to disturb all the rishis. And that's something you would have heard in many stories and many pastimes in the past that demons would always um, create disturbances in these kind of sacred activities. So that's what he would do. He was huge and black. His hair, beard, and mustache were reddish. His mouth appeared very dangerous because he himself was so huge. Lord Baram thought, how about to smash the thought about uh, to smash the demon? He called his claw and club to come. He prepared to attack, and Balvala flew in the sky. Balram caught the demon with the claw and dragged him down. Then Balram smashed his head with the club, and this is how the the all the rishis in the Namishaurinia sages in the Ramish, um, um forest. Uh, got rid of that um, demon and they offered prayers and blessings to Lord Balram. Lord Balram never fails. That's what they say. We all believe in, in him truly and completely. And then they um, bathed the Lord Balram. They gave him very nice clothes, ornaments, and they hung a lotus garland of victory around his neck. So that is what they did. And that is how they paid uh, their obeisances to Lord Balram for the act. So this is where we end this story today. Um, Mataji, are we doing the activity first or we are doing uh, the shloka first? Mataji, she's not here. She's not here. All right, kids. So let's do this. We got the do the activities. Yes, yeah, do the activities. All right, kids. It's trivia time. It's nothing but the crossword puzzle. Uh, we have done it in the past and I'm going to quickly send you the link in the WhatsApp group. Okay, let's let everybody um, join that. You can do that online and I'm gonna give you hints, okay? And the hints are there as well. So quickly in um, in Damodar group, I'm gonna send, okay? Mataji. Mataji. Mataji, could you also send it in the chat box? Oh. oh. Wow, you kids are so smart, always smart. <laughs> Thinking, what do we do? How do I make it work for us? Um, all right. Yeah. So here is it. You print it. You use it live. Do whatever. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me put it in the chat box as well. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Coming in the chat box in a second. Okay, kids.
kids, all you, all of you got it? Yes. I'm not hearing from anybody. Are you kids okay? You got it or no? Yes, I'm I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you got it? Let's get started, okay? Mm. I can share my screen as well here. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm sharing my screen, but let me share again. And, um... Can I do the crossword from your phone? All right, kids. Here's the crossword. Let's get started. So kids, let's get started. You know how they work, right? It's just for a second, I'm gonna put you all on mute, okay? So that I can speak. Yeah, so here it is crossword. You have across and you have down, right? You're gonna read all this and we're gonna put those in place. Um, So yeah, so across and down. So if you're starting with across, here is across. So number two, easy. You have done it many times, it's gonna be easy. So when I say number two, across is, you will start from two and you're gonna finish here, right? So first one for you is, number two is, what was Balram's weapon? So what was Lord Balram's weapon? Everything is from the story, kids, okay? So let's just write. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Madhuji, I'm on the um seventh one, but I haven't. I I'm not going in order, Madhuji, but no worries. Um, Madhuji, any order you want. I'm having trouble to spell Govardhan. Govardhan. We should not have Govardhan here. But Madhuji, it says which hill did Lord Krishna live to protect the people of Vrindavan? Madhuji. Did you get the old one? No, no. Madhuji. Madhuji, I'm doing the... Uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, kids. Here. The new link, please. No, it's the same link. I'm copying the we same can see. Thing. We can see the right one, Madhuji, I think. The one which you are talking about, so... We are so, Prabhuji, the... the link also has the right one? Yes, the one oh, which you are okay. sh sharing on the screen. So oh, Wonderful. Thank you, Prabhu. Um, uh, Bala Branda, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the one we did last time. So we're not doing that. Did I send that by mistake? Uh, I think that's the second one you send. The second one's probably one of those. Let me, let me try that one more time. Uh, I... they're, both the, they're both the same one. Wait, let's see. The bus, the bus. Because the one you shared, it has date on it, Mataji. Yeah. Mataji, you, you shared the wrong one. Okay, kids, let's take a step back. The link that I have given in the chat just now in this um, call, let's use that only. Is that okay? Mataji, can you share that in the WhatsApp? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting my dog at work. <laughs> um, second one, I wrote plow or in club, but it won't work. Yeah, so we would put both, right? We would just put the one we have ready in the story today, so it's going to just plow. Yeah. Velvet. Yeah? This is velvet. Can I answer the number two? Okay, is everybody done? Then we'll start answering also. Everybody done with number two? Don't disturb. All right, all right, kids. It should be there in the WhatsApp as well, the right link. Okay. 
so um, let's use that. Now let's start with number two, if everybody's up and running. Yes. I'm going to say the number two. Yeah, let's start with, everybody's done with number two. Can we continue, kids? You're all set? Okay, good. Can we set look like it? All right, so let's start with number two. What was Lord Balram's weapon? Flow. One, two, three, perfect. Plow. Yeah, so we have only six to plow is the right answer. Very good, good job. All right, now next one. Well, how do you spell plow? Yes. How do you spell plow? P L O U G H. Okay. Okay. It says I wrote plow and I said it's wrong. It's wrong? Yeah. Uh, it's correct. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Moving on. Kids, number five. <laughs> I want to give time to others as well. So let's just do it real quick. Okay. Yeah. So where did Kuru's live? Kids, we are talking every single time. Hasunapur. Good job. Write it. Okay, kids, do not answer yet, okay? Let everybody write it. Let everybody think about it, okay? So we're not going to answer right away. Madhiji, I just did the um, second of the first one. I haven't done any other one. No worries. Do it, okay? You have time. Okay, kids, do not answer anything. Please let everybody do it, okay? Otherwise, everybody loses interest if we answer in the beginning. So let's not do that right yet. We will talk about all the answers soon. Uh, number six across is what is known as an ancient kingdom of Krishna? Dwaraka. <laughs> <I'm gonna, laughs> no worries. Let's not answer now, okay? Anyways, you already did, so I'm going to write answer as well uh, in my um, six. Oh, what did I write? My spelling is correct. How do you spell Dwaraka? D. I think it should be V, I guess. Yeah. All right. Kids, moving on. The next... Um, next one is number eight across is who was born with earrings and armor? To be precise, Kavach and Kunda. Karina. About. Karina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number eight. Okay, the next one. Night cross. What is the name of the holy forest where great sages assemble and perform big sacrifices? Namishanya. <laughs> right. All right, that is correct answer. Let's keep filling this as well, kids.
I'm going to leave it empty for now so that um, whoever has not done it, I'll leave, leave it for them. Oh, what is what? Name is Sharanya. How do you spell name is Sharanya? So the name is Sharanya is okay. Let me write it for you only. And then I and I. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, ten across is which dynasty was Balaram from? Yeah, do once. <laughs> All right. Number ten, Anna. All right. Going down. Number eleven across is who was Krishna's elder brother? Come on, all of you know that. I know. Balaram. Okay. What was the name of Krishna's son who got married to Lakshmana, and she was the daughter of Duryodhana? So this is 12. Anyone knows? No? Or should Samba. I? Yeah, all right, it's Samba. So it is Samba. All right, moving on. Which demon, number 13 across, is which demon was creating havoc in the forest of Namisharan and Lord Balram kills him? 13. Mataji, it is Only two minutes. Mataji, Mataji, 615 crossed. Mataji, what do you think, Mataji? We want, you want to go to the breakout or you want to do it here? Anyway, Sloka and Rhyme is also there, right, Mataji? Yeah. Mm. Mataji, let, 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 let them finish the crossword. Let them finish the crosswords. Then they can go. Okay. 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 So let's finish crosswords real quick. Thank you, Mataji. Let's do a quick two minutes and finish the crosswords. So I'm not going to type anything now. Which demon was creating havoc in the forest of Nemesharan? Anybody knows? That was the last story we read. Mataji, um, I know... I know the name, but I just forgot how to um um. Okay. So I think I did make a mistake here. It's Balbala, and I've written Balbala. So I think, <laughs> oops. I'm gonna do that for now, so that you just correct. But yeah. kids, B A L B A. Yeah. All right, kids. Let's quickly do downloads. Yes, yes. Um, for no, for number one, it's Shubhadra. Oh, okay. You're already reading it downwards, kids. Okay, all right. Thank you. Who was married to Arjun and was also Balram's sister? Shubhadra is the right answer. Number three, what is the name uh, for someone who takes sannyas or renunciation? Number three. Anybody knows? Hari spoke Shubhadra. Okay, let me see my spelling. S U B H A D R A. We will do that later. Something wrong. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Okay, Subhadra comes here. All right. Um, number three. Number three is what is the name of someone who takes sannyas or renunciation? All right. I did something wrong. S A N. Okay, we'll correct the spelling later. Um, what is this? Okay, what is the ceremony where one could pick a partner to marry? Number four, downwards. 
Atiji, I think you, uh, I think Sanya sees it was wrong, I think. I will, cor I will correct that. I, we don't have time, so I just moved on. Um, Okay. Yeah. Swim beer. Swim beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Right. It is called swim world. Okay. And the last one is um, which sage did Lord Balram kill with a blade of grass? And that is your seven downwards. Anybody knows? Yeah. All right, let's fix this also. Number three is what's the name of someone to Sanyasi. So let's see, what did I wrong here? Let's see. All right, what do you think? Oh, swim board. All right, kids, we did it. Good job. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Mataji took so much time, but yeah. Um, yes, Mataji, this is actually um, beneficial for the even Govind class because it's Balram Pudima only. Na? Everybody wants to learn about Balram. It's very good. Thank, Thank you, you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. But OK, Hare kids, let's move on to um, let's and clicking on the open room. Uh, Hare Krishna Mataji, I just wanted to ask before that, uh, we, do we have, would, would the kids be there tomorrow? I just wanted to make sure if they would be here. What Mataji? Would the kids be uh, in available tomorrow? Do we need to have class tomorrow was my question. Oh, okay. So, um, how many of you are ready to join tomorrow class? Today we have 10, uh, 10 children. Uh, do you all available for tomorrow class or uh, Mataji, they went to break out? Mataji, tomorrow, Balram Purnima and my uh, mom has some uh, uh, plans, so I don't know, but I might uh, be joining. Okay. Mataji, can you go to the breakout, Mataji? Because I think some children already... That's something, yeah. Mataji, I'll, I'll find out that from the breakout room and I'll let you know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Okay. Hare Krishna, kids. I hope everybody... Tushita, you did not get breakout room? Oh, Tushita also got. Okay. Kabir, you want to go to breakout or uh, Govinda class? Uh, I'll do Govinda class, Mataji. Okay, Govinda class.